While some may think supermodel Naomi Campbell lives in a futuristic mansion in a Russian forest, this place was actually meant as a wedding gift from her ex-lover, billionaire Vladislav Doronin. Since they aren't together anymore, this property has been up for sale and apparently these days Naomi is living back in New York City. Today we'll take a look at where Naomi lives in New York and a few of her super unique properties from the recent past. I mean just look at this one. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Naomi Campbell is an English model, actress and businesswoman who was one of the most recognizable models of the late 1980s and 90s. Discovered at the young age of 15, she was also one of only six models of her generation declared supermodels by the fashion industry and the international press. Even prior to getting scouted, Naomi was already tap dancing in music videos for Culture Club and had studied dance most of her childhood and teen years. Her career as a model took off almost immediately, appearing on the cover of British Elle before her 16th birthday. Over the following years, her career progressed steadily and Naomi walked the catwalk for design designers like Versace, Isaac Mizrahi, and more. By the late 1980s, Campbell with Christy Turlington and Linda Evangelista formed a trio known as the Trinity, who became the most in-demand models of their generation. In addition to her modeling career, Naomi has embarked on other ventures from an R&B pop studio album to several acting roles in TV and film. Not to mention, she was on the modeling competition reality show The Face and its international offshoots. At the time of this recording, the British-born goddess has a net worth of about $80 million dollars making Miss Campbell one of the richest supermodels out there. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up where the original house tour connoisseurs and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we'll be taking a look at legendary supermodel Naomi Campbell and a few homes she's lived in over the years from a New York City penthouse to a crazy spaceship looking home in a Russian forest. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Back in the day, 2005 to be exact, Miss Naomi purchased this apartment in New York City but didn't end up living there for too long after some assault scandals. She put this place on Park Avenue in Manhattan up for sale at $4.9 million with taxes and maintenance bills that added up to almost 7 k a month. While these photos are dated, we can get an idea of what Naomi's previous Big Apple dwelling looked like. It spanned about 3,100 square feet with three beds and 3.5 baths and took up an entire private floor of the building. The unit is accessed through double doors leading directly into the oversized living room with array of windows. While the apartment was located in a building that some sources called ugly and was close to Midtown, there were many positive points about the place. There were gorgeous high ceilings and full windows as well as a cantilevered master suite that Naomi could enjoy. In the bathroom and kitchen, there was a lot of glossy gorgeous wood and the professional chef's kitchen was also full of windows and spacious with stainless steel appliances, a huge pantry and storage space. Her apartment also had a separate staff entrance plus laundry room with more storage. Aside from the roomy closet attached to Naomi's bedroom here, the ensuite was also impressive. The master bath resembled a fancy yacht with the use of teak wood and offered a marble steam shower double vanity and four person sunken jacuzzi. But who wants four people in their tub? Personally, I find that one a bit unnecessary and weird, but to each their own. While Naomi moved on from this place over more than a decade ago, it said these days she's been calling Manhattan home once again, but we'll get to her current living situation shortly. Last year, a futuristic mansion that was built just for Miss Naomi went up on the market and the place looks like a friggin' spaceship. No seriously, it's like straight out of Star Wars. The home was up for sale at a way reduced price at about $104 million. I know that doesn't sound reduced at all, but the mansion slash spaceship actually cost a reported $146 million to build or around there. So I guess that is at a loss. Naomi previously lived here with her ex-lover, billionaire Vladislav Doronin, who were a couple from 2008 until 2013, and they were frequently spotted in the Russian capital, which is close to where the house was built. The home was allegedly made just for her in a Russian forest in an elite suburb of Moscow. The original design was scribbled on the back of a napkin 
napkin during their relationship and is thought to have been a present for the supermodel prior to their breakup. The outlandish Russian love nest spanned a massive 35,520 square feet and the architect in charge was none other than the famed Iraqi British Zaha Hadid. The late architect is recognized as a major figure in the field and she's well known for super modern unique designs. Basically this home has Zaha Hadid written all over it. Much of Naomi's previous home is sunken underground, but the tower is 115 feet above ground and offers a view over the trees and garden, as well as a spacious bedroom with ensuite bath. Come on, even the interior looks like a spaceship. There were various reception rooms, which almost looked like futuristic conference rooms, but looking at photos, we can see this one is likely a dining space with fireplace. The property also boasts its own spa, 20 meter swimming pool, sports hall, and Japanese garden. The place even has its own nightclub. Some sources say the billionaire Dronin has been unsuccessfully trying to sell the ex-couple's home since 2016, which is the reason for the mega price drop. While the home is decidedly not my taste, it would definitely be very picturesque and luxurious for some. Just when you thought that spaceship home was the only weird gift in Naomi's previous relationship, think again. Apparently back in 2011, Vladislav also gifted the model an island vacation home for her 41st birthday, and not just any getaway either. As lavish as birthday birthday gifts go, this one is hard to top. Numerous online reports stated her ex-man got her this home shaped like the Egyptian Eye of Horus on a location known as Cleopatra Island in Turkey's Gulf of Gokova. While interior pics aren't available to creep, we can see the unique shape of this house, which is also eco-friendly from exterior and aerial views. Spanish architect Luis de Garrido, who specializes in sustainable building, designed the eco-house Horus to be energy, water, and food self-sufficient, relying on careful bioclimatic design to solve any challenges. The resulting dome-shaped home that Naomi was formerly able to enjoy offered no less than 25 bedrooms and five main lounges. As it turns out, Eco House Horus isn't the first time a grand gesture has been made for a lady lover on this island. Turkey's Cleopatra Island has been a resort destination in the Gulf since ancient Roman times, and the sand on Cleopatra Beach is said to be exceptional and different from other nearby beaches. The local legend has it that Mark Antony imported this sand just for Cleopatra back in the day who wouldn't set foot on any non-Egyptian land. The black outline of Naomi's previous eco home made up most of the eye design and it's comprised of photovoltaic panels, which work in combination with the geothermal system, providing all energy needed for the mansion. The photos show how the house stays warm in cooler weather using heat from the sun and geothermal heat. Glass floors allow the sun to penetrate all the way to the basement, and the dome also functions as a greenhouse to heat with solar radiation. Overhead photos show how the house manages to stay cool in the summer without using air conditioning. While breaking up with her ex met Naomi had to say goodbye to those uniquely wonderful presents, it's said she's made her home in Manhattan once again since then. During the lockdown, it's been reported she's at her home in New York City, where she's been recording her new YouTube series from, and where Liam Payne was once even spotted leaving. Prior to the pandemic that is. In 2018, when Naomi was house hunting, it was said she checked out this apartment for $18 million. This penthouse is in the West Village area of New York City and was in a complex popular among fashion industry stars like designer Michael Kors, German model Tony Garn, and more. It would make sense that fashion royalty Naomi would be interested in this place, but I can't be confirmed if she ever moved in there. The glamorous abode was completed in 2014, offering five bedrooms, a media room, floor to ceiling windows, and a sprawling terrace. The complex, which offered townhomes and condos had a ton of amenities too, like yoga rooms, 25 meter swimming pool, golf simulator, 21 seat screening room, and more. While it seems like a place Naomi would no doubt be comfortable in, it's also been reported the supermodel currently lives in the American Thread building on West Broadway. Not to mention when Naomi showed off her kitchen in one of her YouTube vids, it had a different color scheme than the Greenwich Village penthouse. What do you guys think? Alright, so I think I'm gonna bring this house tour to an end right there. After looking at some weird and lavish properties Miss Naomi Campbell has lived at, what did you guys think? I've never seen anything like those two homes her ex had built for her, like the futuristic Russia mansion and the Horus I Eagle home on the island. They're definitely not my kind of living situation and slightly too modern for me, but they get your attention, that's for sure. Weird properties aside, it seems Naomi is back to her supermodel roots living in Manhattan and has been for quite some time now. If you guys know anything more about her current home, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to get to know more of you guys, so please like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I post every Sunday and reply to all my comments over there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next one.
Bye.